Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video I'm going to be testing some fake Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup. Um, I've ordered all of this off eBay. Uh, the first product that I chose was the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, um, like the collaboration she did with them. Um, I also got the Modern Renaissance palette by them. And lastly, I've got the Brow Definer. So in today's video, we're just going to be testing out those three products. That's why I haven't got like half my makeup on. <laughs> so yeah, just stay tuned and carry on watching if you want to see how these perform. First of all, I'm just going to clip my hair back and be careful not to set my hair on fire. Candle. Back. Um, I don't know which product to go in with first to be honest. Probably just gonna use the glow kit first since I've got no highlight on it. Okay. Done. I don't have the original like genuine one to compare this with. Um but at the minute like the packaging feels quite heavy. I'm gonna just drop to that twice. Um so yeah, this is what it looks like here. Obviously it says Nicole Guerrero here because this is collaboration with her. And then you open it up. And then you've got these six shades here. And then it has this protective sealant on it here, which I don't want that. From what I've seen online, the shades do look slightly darker in comparison to not the genuine one. I think the only shade that actually work in here for me is this palest one called Forever Lip, which is this white shade. It looks like it's got like a bit of blue in it to be honest with you. I don't know if you can tell on camera but it looks slightly blue. The brush I'm going to use to apply this uh, shade forever lip with is the Real Techniques setting brush. Yeah, I'm just going to dip into that and let's see. Okay, I did swirl my brush in that like quite a bit. And not a lot of glow is that it looks it it looks it on camera but in real life it's like barely there at all. <laughs> Let's see if we can just build this up. Ready? Going for it. Now I've done that, I literally have got like a white striper on my face and I look a bit dumb. So I'm just gonna do the exact same on the other side. And then on the tip of my nose. I've just swatched the six shades. Um, these first three are the top row here. And then these last three are the bottom row. Um, as you can see, they aren't very reflective. And I've seen like, videos of, the, of a genuine palette. And they are like a lot more reflective than that. So yeah, that's the glow kit. I can't really test out any of the other shades. Because on my skin tone, like, it won't be like a highlight. It'll just be like a bunch of product on my face looking absolutely ridiculous brown blah blah so yeah we're not going to try those ones out the next product i'm going to test out is the eyeshadow palette just to see how it is um i do have the original one here to compare it with as well um this is my extremely dirty dusty well used genuine palette so we're going to compare it with that i don't have the original box for the uh, genuine one because it's not long gone <laughs> But um, it does look quite similar from what I can remember. So, you know. so this is the real one and this is the fake one here. Straight off the bat, this one's um, this one's a definite. Straight off the bat, this one is a slightly different shade to the fake one. It's more of like a baby pink, peachy colour, and this is more purple. I'd say. I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> And the fake one, it has the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo on it, whereas on the real one, it does not. Uh, the fonts also are different size in comparison to the real one, and the play is slightly different as well. So I'm just going to create like a really simple eye look with uh, using the fake one just to see how it like compares. Uh, you do get a little brush with it as well. Um, I don't know where my real brush is, but this is like already shedding loads. It does feel like quite cheap and weirdly put together. I don't know, I don't want to say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not going to use this because I didn't really use the original one anyway. So, so move that to the side. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed as well, on the inside, on the real palette, it doesn't have the logo on the inside as well. And this feels like 
got quite cheap in comparison to the real one. The real one's got like cardboard there instead, but this is just like some really cheap put together plastic one. So, and it feels like a lot lighter in comparison. The first shade I'm gonna go in with is Golden Oak, and I'm just gonna dust that all in the crease. This shade's definitely not got a lot of pigment in it in comparison to the real one. So I've dipped back into this shade about five times now, trying to build it up and it's still barely existent. But it's blending really nicely, so at least it's got my going for it at the minute. <laughs> next shade I'm going to go in with is Love Letter, which is this really gorgeous pink here. I'm just going to dust that like all into my crease. We got some pigment guys. And I'm just going to blend that back. I've just blended that and it's completely disappeared off the face of the earth. So we're just going to go back and build that up. The shades are definitely like nowhere near as pigmented as the real ones, but you could definitely achieve the same look if you wanted to build up the colours. It just takes a lot longer, obviously. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is Red Oak, which is this dark berry colour just here. And I'm just gonna pop that slightly lower in the crease and love letter. I'm just gonna put the shade Primavera all over my lid, which it's just this gold shimmery shade. I'm just going to use my finger to do that because I find you get more pigment. Then on the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Real Girl, which is this burnt orange shade just there. And I'm just going to put that all over my lower lash line. In the crease as well, um, I'm just going to pop a bit of this dark brown shade in just to add a bit of dimension because it looks a bit weird. <laughs> Cypress Umber isn't pigmented like at all. I'm really having to build it up to try and get any colour paint off of at all. The one in the genuine modern Renaissance palette's really good. Like you can literally go in with the tiniest amount and that'll do you. Yeah, look, I'm fully like trying to dig my brush in. So that shade's not very good like at all. Like it's really difficult to build so I wouldn't really recommend that one look at all. I'm going to pop the shade Vermeer in my inner corner as well which is this shimmery pinky colour just to highlight it. And then next I'm going to mix together the two shades Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange which are these two just here. And I'm just going to, um, oh my god I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I'm just going to smoke out this orange with that that we've put on down before. So this is the finished eye look we've got at the moment. The last product we've got to go in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I got mine in the shade dark brown. I've never tried this before so I'm just going to go in and see what it's like. Um, oh. You get two like little end pieces as well. I'm just gonna start by brushing all of my brow hairs up. And then I'm just gonna create like a little line underneath. Oh God, I have not used a brow pencil in like literally years. Back in the day when my brows were actually horrendous. At the minute, um, I don't know whether I like this or not, but I don't know whether it's just because I'm not like really used to brow pencils or because of the formula of the actual, you know, brow pencil. Um, I'll just do a quick swatch just so you can see what the shade dark brown looks like. When I'm trying to blend it out with the spoon, it's literally just taking the product straight off and leaving it look, looking really patchy in my brow. It's not fitting in it like any of the sparse areas, it's just completely coming off. And then you have to press down quite hard to get any products to come off. 
I'm really bad at doing my eyebrows with any kind of pencil, so I'm really sorry that this is that bad. See, this eyebrow's gone way better. Of course it would, because it's my better eyebrow. So. I don't actually know whether it's just crap product or I'm just crap. Probably me. I'm literally trying to fill in these gaps so much. What was that? Oh no. My translucent powder just fell on the floor. actually in this little compartment here. Oh no, come back, knock it. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm attached to my desk. Oh, oh you nasty. My hand is stuck in a blender. Okay, so that's about as good as my eyebrows are gonna get. You'll see me in a bit close so you can get a proper view of what they actually look like. So there's the eyebrows. You can see here I've got like quite a few sparse spots in my eyebrows and it just wouldn't cover those like at all. I went over them like five times, tried to blend them and they just disappeared. So if you've got like quite thin eyebrows with like parts missing, I probably wouldn't recommend this one at all. Uh, on this eyebrow, um, it's a lot more fuller in comparison to this one, which is always the way. Yeah, anyway. With this eyebrow, it definitely looks a lot better. Um, ignore the non-neatness, I'm just rubbish at doing eyebrows, so. Yeah. If you've got fuller brows, I'd probably recommend this to you, to be honest with you. But I'm pretty sure it was like about four pounds off of eBay. I'll link everything down below and where I found it and stuff like that. But um, yeah, if you've got fuller eyebrows, I definitely recommend this because it's done quite a nice job of making them look quite natural yet still filled in. Oh, yeah. So this is the finished look I've created here with all these fake products. Um, the only one I probably wouldn't recommend to you is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Um, the shades aren't very reflective at all and like, there's not a lot of pigment to them and you do have to build them up for quite a long time. It's up to you whether you want to try it out. I mean it was only about £5 in comparison to what, 30 for the actual genuine one. So yeah, probably wouldn't use that ever again. <laughs> With the eyeshadow palette, um, it does actually work really well if you have the time and patience to build up the shades. The only one that doesn't have like any pigment at all is this dark brown shade here, which is Cypress Umber. All of the rest, they are like usable. You can work with the shades and you can create like a nice eyeshadow look, which is what I've created here today. Obviously, they're not as pigmented as the genuine one, but nevertheless, it is still like a good eyeshadow palette. I probably will use this again, to be honest with you. Like the gold shade in here is a lot different to the one in the genuine one. It's more of a warm gold in comparison to the one in the genuine palette, which is like a like a champagne gold. I don't really know. I'm gonna go with that. But yeah, I'd probably recommend that. Um, as for the eyebrow pencil, um, I really like how it's made my right eyebrow look. It's like really natural looking, and it was quite easy to use. However, if you've got really sparse eyebrows, I probably wouldn't recommend this look at all. Um, it doesn't fill in any sparse spots at all. Can I say at all any more times? <laughs> Thank you for watching to the end of this video if you've made it this far. Um, I'd really appreciate if you liked and left a comment down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, subscribe to my channel. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah. Bye.